Hey guys, welcome back. This should be episode 13 of Naval Blades Let's Fail. I got a lot of stuff happening this episode. First, Cayenne died because I actually found cactus greens. And a cactus green plus <sighs> lapis makes cayenne. I was able to make one cayenne wool, which makes me my prototype Omni Wrench, which I'm about to need. Hopefully this works like it's supposed to and does not explode my entire lab in a tragic accident. Let's see. Uh-huh. Got the engine. Didn't or the generator. Didn't break. That's wonderful. Why? Because I'm doing some neat stuff with the generator in a moment. Let me see if these actually emerge. Yep. Sweet. Alright. I'm going to make several things, actually. First, because all these combs are building up and taking up space in my inventory, I'm going to make a hopper, which is a wonderful invention. This is the hopper. I'm going to take it over here to the centrifuge. That is indeed the centrifuge. This is working like I expect it to. It's going to store those in there. As soon as this spot is cleared, starting from the left and working their way over, it's going to drop the next thing available into the first open slot, which is going to be right here. So as this processes, it's going to feed the next stuff through. Once that one's done, it'll drop this one in, and then realizing that it can hold more of that, it'll keep dropping until all six of those are in. That just makes my life so much easier because it just cleared up several inventory spaces. Seriously, at this point, that's a massive help. Okay, up next, I'm actually going to make something very cool. There's a reason I just picked up the generator. And by the way, use an appropriate tool like the Omni Wrench before you pick up any machines in Greg Tech. Otherwise, you may regret it as it explodes and devastates your whole lab. Alright, I'm going to need two electronic circuits for this because I'm going to make da, 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 the diesel generator. Which takes five refined iron, two circuits, and a normal generator. I now have a diesel generator. Which I'm going to conveniently put right there next to my bat box. So as it produces power, it's going to charge that. Liquid amount none, in, out, yada, yada, yada. Here's why. This is actually a one-to-one -one on the refinery, which is quite wonderful, actually, because it means I'm going to have a great deal of fuel. If I can figure out how to collect it. Um, it's actually a pretty big if right now. I know in previous versions you were able to just bump it out. If you can't, I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I should have enough cactus for this. Okay. Crappy mad scientist time, folks. We cook up five more cacti. Well, that's going. I'm going to take some, let's see, smooth stone or gold. Uh, considering how vital this can be, I'm going to go with the gold. I had intended to use the redstone with the pump, but yeah. And I'm going to need one of my wood. Okay. Gold pipes. Wonderful things. Uh, wooden pipes, since I'm going to be used it. To... Oh, sorry. Getting ahead of myself. Alright. Now i got six cacti greens. Take cactus greens. Well, this is why we needed cactus so badly. I have six pipe waterproofings. I need to make one waterproof wooden tube. And... Five waterproof gold tube. Gold is the most efficient flowing tube, so I'm just going to try to use that. Okay. And I miscounted. Yep, this is definitely a less fail. It's okay, I can use that on the other. Alright. This is actually now going to need a lever. 
and the redstone engine I thought I'd bother to pick up. Here we are. So, redstone engine there, lever behind it to activate it, and it hopefully will start pumping the fuel, yep, there it goes. It's pumping the fuel out. As it goes into here, it's going to fill. And honestly, I don't need it to run for too long because that little amount of fuel is going to burn for quite a while. It's still pouring in through the thing because the charge difference has left that pipe rather charged. That is going to build up energy nicely as it collects. Uh, throw in the corn, whatnot. Okay, I was hoping I could extract that with buckets, but I can't. It's alright, it's all still gonna work. Is that as bad as someone saying, trust me, I know what I'm doing? Hmm, probably. Alright, I'm going to need to make another redstone engine for the item I was planning to use the first one for. Here, I will sleep to let it switch over to daytime again. No reason to encourage nighttime mobs. Alright. Two, three... You guys have all seen a piston before, so I will try and make this quick. And you have all seen me make a redstone engine before. Which I will need that one for when I get the pump going. Which right here is going on my little oil platform. Which will feed with that one waterproof pipe over and to a container that's going to be made out of glass, but it's at least a storage container. It'll hold them. Now I'm going to dip lower into my precarious wood supply. And the reason I have the impregnated casings here is if I've done this right, yes, apiary. That is what you house and grow bees in. It is vital if you want to get wax and other good stuff going from your place. Yes, there is an aviary, which is a much nicer upgraded one. But honestly, it would be quite a bit of trouble. Okay. Marshy drones will probably work here. Forest will probably... Oh yeah, that's an yet another thing I wanted to show you. Why separate it? with all the bees and mob drops on the top and the other stuff in the bottom is I wanted to see if I can do a direct upgrade not one iron, that's silly I wanted to see if I can do the direct chest upgrade from normal normal chest to iron chest upgrade this is very useful and very valuable since I do not know which is the top these are now two separate chests, but the one holding the mob drop is now the size of a double chest. If I feel like using a bit more of my iron, I can go ahead and do that again. And my plant drop only chest is now also the size of a double chest, which makes my life significantly less miserable when I'm trying to do inventory management. Now, I don't have a bee analyzer, but since I am out in the water, I'm just going to assume that Mercy Princesses are a good place to start for this. I'm going to hope they only need flowers, in which case I'll take oh, three of those, why not? Because if they need something else, I will be working hard to get it produced, but it might be quite a pain. Okay, one here, one here. Yes, this is also going to be your unfortunate and rather pathetic introduction to how bees work. 
queen goes top, the drone goes in the bottom. And I will know in a moment if these are hostile. See, it would have popped up hostile environment. Wow, it's really normal temperature and normal humidity. I did not expect that considering I'm in the middle of the freaking ocean. But both of those have begun to process. I'm going to actually just take this one down because it's really inconvenient. And I'm going to harvest this one because I really do need this for waterproofing so my bees do better. Once the bees do good, the cactus is not such a in-demand item because the bees will produce the combs. The combs, in turn, can be centrifuged. And then I will be able to use the wax from that for waterproofing or to make capsules, much like I did with the tin container earlier. You know what? That's probably good. Let's see, but they're probably going to be. Ooh! Hey, no flowers. What do you mean? Okay, they want something different for flowers. Um, that's an unfortunate occurrence because different bees will want different items for their flower intake. I've got yellow flowers. <coughs> um, those are marshy, so there's a chance they'll want mushrooms, which would be really bothersome if that's the case. Because if it is, I'm going to have to make a little sky cover of dirt. Oh, charming. Okay, if I put my mushrooms there, then my darkness is going to have to extend over. So mushrooms do not like to be in sunlight in this game. It's not the plan. To be nice and dark. And sometimes they can be really picky even on top of that. Wait, pop the torch. Nope, it is just too bright for them. The next thing you'll find with bees is they will not always be happy with your environment. So, until I can get some mycelium up, this queen and this queen and any other marshy queens are just not going to be very useful to me. That's cheerful. Alright. Huh, that thing is still pulling energy out from that. And that's fully charged. Ah, uh, the wiki said that had quite a noticeable battery storage, but the wiki is not necessarily correct. Alright, wintry is not going to work. Uh, modest is desert, valiant might be nice. We'll try the forest drone and forest princess. Uh, and I will try the... That's a gamble, but what else do you say, right? I didn't actually expect too much to be able to grow in this pot. Actually, the modest one, if I can get it to grow, or if it can live in this environment, might accept the cactus as its flower. And if it does not, I will be making some other weird hybrids and throwing them in there. Finery is still running. Ah, see? Honey drop and beeswax, and it's on to the next set. Um, squeezer still working on it, and from now on I'm going to use buckets on that so it does not eat the things unless I use wax capsules. As I said, I don't want it to actually waste materials I might need. Um, 
10 ore will be fine. The macerate, toss it in there. We draw in power off that, and we don't see anything in here saying how much power that has and how much it stores. It is keeping this powered with that running. But if I'm going to test it, let me throw in a stack of iron as well. All right, but the hopper, uh, the pump, the water system, these are things I wanted to show you today. The beehives, those were another thing. Um, let me see if either of these is actually functional now, because I don't want to take up you guys' time constantly and not have anything to show for it. Okay, this is functioning. The Valiant Queen is working, and the Forest Queen is working. Now, they're working at a reduced rate because I don't have any frames in place. Frames make it easier for bees to do their job, which is one of the reasons I was running this, but two sticks is not going to cover what I need. So I'm actually going to take some string from here. Take an incredibly large amount of sticks. It'll give me two untreated frames, which just overall aren't very good. Actually, let's make it three. I'll put two in one, one in the other. They do not stack, as you'll notice, which is... I think that door thing's just out to get me. All right, next tip for bees. They work better when there's more flowers near them. Um, different strains are more productive. I just don't have an analyzer up yet to actually do anything productive with them. And unless you get specific types, they will not work if there's something above them. They have to see the sky. They have to have some type of plant near them. They have to like the environmental conditions. And I'm going to ignore the boat doing weird things in the background. Thank you, Minecraft. And they have to... Uh, be able to operate in whatever light condition is currently active. As you can see, I've got three stacks of eggs in there. Um, other goodies I'll take care of off camera, such as the pumpkins, the corn, and well fed. This is me spiral slicing a tree, as I prefer to call it, because this is the way I climb up to harvest. I will chop three blocks in front of me and go up one and chop three blocks in front of me and go up one and so forth. And this allows me to actually get a decent way up the tree since it's a two by two tree without it collapsing on, well, not collapsing, but without it closing on me or dropping me if you cut the wrong items. All right, I'm sure that's not thrilling. So. I've got a redstone torch, a pump, and a golden pipe. I'm going to go ahead and do one more important thing before I call that this, I call it enough for this episode. And that is I'm going to go hook the pump up and I do believe I'm going to need a glass to make a container. There we go, one tank. My boat finally surfaced, the one that went submarine. This one, if you'll notice, is flying. There we go. So I'm going over to the nearby world well before I end this episode. I'm going to hook up the item, turn on the redstone thing, and start having it fill the tank. Because I've isolated it, um put the sugar canes and other blocks up to cut it off from the water around it, it hope stay away from me, you squiddy bastards. Um, hopefully it will actually function properly and not suck up the seawater instead, which would gum up the whole system. Okay. Pop that torch. That's exactly where I want the mining well, or the pump. Drop it there. It should automatically feed out to an attached tube when it's operating. 
and from there I will attach the first of those and we'll pump into that when it's running. As I said before, I will put the redstone engine there, which will automatically feed in when it oh, was in the on position. Haha, <laughs> my bad. This will not be quick, but if I go down here, you should see this thing extending down as it looks for source oil. And it will continue to extend down for a while as it goes, which in its own way is pretty neat. The reason it's straight down the oil well is that thing continues way down into a big old pocket of actual oil. The idea is that as the pump functions, you see it's slowly going down, it is going to send that thing all the way down into the primary oil source, which is a big underwater bubble. And I will acknowledge this is going even slower than I'd expected. The redstone engine will speed up, but I just want to show you the first few bits of oil filling the tank. Uh, I believe you cannot pop these tanks when something is in them, or you will lose the contents. There are tanks that can be specially removed, but those are in one of the mod packs that may not be in this. Um, I believe those are in Thermal Expansion mod, which is... Oh, come on, you damn pump. I've got people watching here. Come on. Get to work. Because uh, I just want it to pump out the oil, show you that it will fill this even if it's painfully slow with just one redstone. If it was doing it right, I'd probably do it with like a combustion or something, but no. should take several seconds for it to actually pump anything out, but it seems to be going abnormally slow this time. I do hope that nothing is wrong. Did my... Oh, there's my boat. I was going to say, did my boat just go astray again? Pump should more than be able to handle oil. It's just kind of bothering me that it's taking so long to actually handle any oil. Ha! We've removed some of the oil from your way. Which is probably not a wise thing, but hey, let's just get this damn thing running. because that is only dropping a few blocks and the actual wheel is way below it. Could very foolishly show you just how deep this goes, but I'm probably going to have to start swimming back up in a moment. Yeah, that opening down there is probably actually where it changes and becomes the next thing through. And they may have changed the nature of the pumps. This one is only going X many blocks down and it is leaving me quite disappointed. You know what? I'm going to leave that running for a while. I'll check back on it, and if I have any more problems, I will sort it out. So, 
rather than take all day and waste your time here, I'm going to check the record length on this, 25 minutes. You guys have suffered through more than enough of my time, and I will say thank you for watching So. 13? Yeah, well, we got stuff done. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time. Bye.